friends Tony here now in this video let's customize our dashboard so first I'm going to change the colors if you go to filament documentation and if you are inside the panels scroll down here we have themes and we have an example of how to change the colors here inside of the configuration files in the color method we change the colors like this so we specify the danger or a primary color for example and say it's going to be color indigo now let's open let's copy this because i'm going to do the same let's copy this one here and let's open the vs code let's open the configuration file which is admin panel provider and this file is inside the app providers filament and here we have a colors method and inside we can customize the colors we want so i'm going to add this one and for danger we have rose here but i want to have red instead now you can go to this color class and find all the colors we have here so i'm going to choose red the gray is going to be not gray but i want the gray to be slate the info is going to be blue primary is going to be indigo and success emerald and warning is going to be orange okay now if i save that and refresh yeah we have a different color also if we go in the dark mode yeah good now let's go and i want to, also you can change the fonts so we can change font and specify the fonts you want i'm going to copy this and let's do that let's come here paste that in hit save and let's see on the browser now refresh yeah we have a different font and uh, you can here we have all google fonts are available to use so you can go to the google fonts and choose what you like so for example let's say enter here okay now let's save this and let's say on the browser we have a different font now let's change also the logo and by default filament will use your app name as a logo but you may create a file inside the resources views and let's zoom in this so inside the resources views vendor filament dash panels components logo.blade.php and let's copy this path here and let's open the resources views and i'm going to create new folder paste that path here hit enter okay now inside the components i'm going to create a new file with the name logo.blade.php and here we need to add just the image tag with the your logo for example let's paste here and i have added in my public images here i have logo transparent.png so let's add that one here so logo dash transparent dot png let's save and let's see on the browser now if i refresh yeah here is the logo and let's change also the fab icon so let's scroll down add in a five icon to add the five icon you can use the configuration file so right here we can change this method and pass in the public url of the fab icon so let's copy this paste it right here now i have also a fab icon here so inside the images fab icon dot in my case is icon like this and let's see if i refresh and yeah as you can see here is the icon okay now also i want to change the icons we have here 
of the employees is going to be in the group down there and also the users down there. So let's do that. Let's close now this one. Let's navigate inside the filament and go to the country. I'm going to copy this and let's navigate now inside the employee resource, paste that in. And I'm going to say employee management and refresh. Now here is the employee management, as you can see, the same for the user. Now the user is going to be user management. Yeah, here we have employees, user management and system management. Now I want also to change the icons for the employees and we need to navigate to the hero icons dot com and for the employee I'm going to use users or group like this. So let's copy this one and navigate to the employee resource so hero icon user group save and let's see yeah here is the employees users i'm going to use the users so let's go to the users and say users like this A refresh yeah we have users now country we have a flag the state for the state i'm going to use this one so let's copy and navigate in the state resource change the hair icon save for the city i'm going to choose this one so navigate to the city resource and change this let's see now on the browser if we refresh yeah country state and city now for the department i'm going to use this one so let's copy and paste it in the department resource let's save let's refresh now yeah here you have department city state country users and employees okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best